KSM show. They causing confusion. So my baby for that my inyasa. What's up, it's your rock star Kwame Hine, and I'm on the legend KSM show, the king of prime time. Keep watching, don't go anywhere. Rockstar Africa number one. Yeah. We're back, we're back, we're back. And we are extremely privileged to have a. Thank you, thank you. We are extremely privileged to have Dr. Darius Osei in the house with us today. We're going to be having a lot of conversation, you know. He's now the CEO of the UGMC, and uh, we're going to chat about that because the UGMC, as you know, is a dedicated center for the COVID pandemic. We'll talk about that, what they have been involved with, and everything else. He wants you to be with the trust, the uh, hospital, the established branches all over. But let me shut up now because the man is here. Yes, you now, bunch, Man, not her. So put your hands together one more time for Dr. Okay. <laughs> Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. You're yes. looking very good. Uh, this, this, this. Well, I, I especially uh, dress up for your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Dr. We, we have so many areas I want to cover. But before we start, I want to, before we get into UGMC, where you're the CEO now, and handling this whole COVID operations, I want to just touch on some very important things that you, I know you talk about a lot. Preventive health. Right. and how we, we, we ignore that. If you want to start on that before we... Well, I think uh, naturally, uh, growing up, uh, your body changes. It's not the same. Mm. Uh, that's why we have conditions that children under five get. And then um, when you are above 40 years or so, there is the need uh, mm -hmm. for you to be checking on certain aspects of your life. Mm. Because... The way in there. Is 40 the magic number? Is Not that really. Uh, well, we've been saying life begins after 40. Mm. <laughs> and that is when the changes start. Okay, okay. And I'm sure at that time also, most people have, would have achieved their ultimate mm. goals in life. Mm. You mm. know, people have finished their masters, they are married, they are living well, they are eating well and drinking well. <laughs> so, uh, as we get into this, kind of luxury, we tend to forget about the changes that goes on in our body. And so there is the need uh, maybe to use the 40 as a mark mm, mm. for us to begin to look into ourselves mm, and mm. see whether uh, the, uh, we can seek medical advice and then take care of ourselves. Okay, okay. What, what, what would you recommend for those of us that are listening, that are around 40, getting to be 40, or that are over 40, what are the special areas you think they should keep an eye on? Once you hit 40, you should begin to check your BP. Mm. That is your blood pressure because, you know, the, the heart pumps blood to supply nutrients to the body. And they, they travel through the arteries. And then the veins carry the deoxygenated blood back to the heart. Mm -hmm. But with growing, then you have the, 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 the space in these arteries closing up. It mm. means the heart... They close up with age. I mean, they close up with lodgement of fat and other things. And so the area is not the same. It means the heart will have to pump mm -hmm. with more force mm -hmm. to distribute this blood to the tissues and that is what uh, explains uh, hypertension okay that is the pumping of the, the heart force is using and the resting of the heart mm. so definitely as a child uh, you have not uh, encountered this lodgement of nutrients and so uh, we can let it go but as you are aging definitely you have to pay attention then yeah. they are not the same mm. and the arteries affect all organs. They are in the pancreas that gives you the insulin. They are in, in the stomach all over. So it is not only the arteries of the heart or other areas, but all areas. So it means the likelihood of all other organs being affected mm. is it's quite high. Okay. That is okay. The, the, the consequences of aging and the reason why you should be and seeking medical uh, advice. Okay, okay. Whether you feel well or not, 
Um, nothing stops you just for uh, getting your medicals done every year. Every year. Just to see your mm. status. Mm. Does it bother you that we are not so much into that in Ghana? It's not like part of our habits that I'm getting my medical every year. And how, how would you drive that home for people yeah. to understand? Yeah. I think what we are doing now is part of the advocacy. And then in medical, in some institutions, we deliberately have programs mm. that mm. Uh, we tend to educate people who happen to pass through our institutions that look, there's this program. Um, we call a preventive uh, uh, measures just mm -hmm. for women and men. Mm -hmm. And it is comprehensive enough to check all your vitals, your, your heart, your kidneys, mm -hmm. your liver, mm -hmm. how they are functioning. I mean, people sometimes are scared not to know yeah but it is always good to know to know uh, medicine has developed to extend that nothing is impossible i mean people with cancer when it is detected on time we are able to solve the problems for mm -hmm. them. yeah because people normally say yeah, i mean if i don't know mm -hmm. then they come you yeah. know psychologically yeah. i'm okay yeah once i know i'm going to fall sick yeah. because i've been told that i have this yeah yeah but it's good to to know to catch it on time. Mm, yeah. mm. Are they? You said men and women. Are they specific tests that men should think about at yeah. forty, and for women too? Are they specific areas? I know prostate, like with men, yeah. is like so yeah. critical. Yeah, yeah. I think with women, um, basically, apart from all the uh, chemistry that we tend to do to see uh, how your your body is faring. Uh, we tend to focus on the breast and mm, the mm. uh, cervix. Um, it is advisable to do your cervical smear mm -hmm. and then do your mammography every uh, year or two um, because uh, we have a lot of women getting uh, breast, breast cancer and cervical yeah. cancer. And it's important to catch this on time. Mm. And with men, uh, the prostate is number one killer. Mm. And so mm. uh, we have the two types, the benign uh, uh, prostate hypertrophy, which is not malignant. And so um, if you are lucky, and then you have the enlargement of the prostate. It is curable. But most of the times it is cancerous. Mm. And mm. that is the danger. And so once you do your test, we can detect it from the chemistry. You know, uh, prostate serum antigen, that the PSA, mm -hmm. and once uh, it's within a certain parameters, you can we tell if it's cancerous or whether it's. We refer you to the urologist, and then they will do your biopsy, and then the pathologist uh, uh, will determine whether it is benign or uh, cancerous. Mm -hmm. And once it is cancerous and detected early, it is curable. Mm -hmm. We have so many people. Mm. who have had this experience and they are walking around okay here. okay listen i want you to pay attention to this very carefully. says once they determine it is uh, cancerous and curable you stand a chance of having it being treated you know but if if you if you miss that mark and you go and it's beyond a uh, point of no return it, it's sad but um in 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 your practice what is the how do i call it how do you rate it? How many people are coming and discovering it early enough that it, it's treatable and those who are coming then it's well, pretty damaged? Uh, it will be very unfair to speculate at this point, mm. but we have a lot these days. I mean, uh, people are coming and uh, the PSAs are high mm. and then we go through the care path and they, they get well. Mm. Okay. Those okay. who don't come on time also I mean, it gets to a point where, you know, the cancer has spread to some many parts of the mm -hmm, body and it's mm -hmm. too late to cure. Mm -hmm. So, consistent medical checkup every year or two mm -hmm. is necessary mm -hmm. for every man and woman after 40 years, mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least. Once you are given a clean sheet, then yeah, you, are free. Go, you are free to go. <laughs> what is, is there anything like a PSA that alarming levels 
Well, I think what? It, it's determined with age. Okay. There are certain levels that uh, when you have it and then we look at your age, uh, it's not uh, life-threatening. Mm. And then mm. at a certain uh, if, age. Yeah, at a certain age, you are young and then your PIC are within certain parameters. And then, you know, it calls for attention. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these ranges are there. Mm. And the doctor will determine it based on your age. Once okay. You do it. okay, 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 okay. Um, there's a there's a friend of mine. It's probably a mutual friend. I don't know, yeah. but he he said when he first mentioned your name. Yeah. Um, he's a Ghanaian, and I think he was dealing with some issue, and he he frequently goes for his checkups in the United States, right. and he told me that they couldn't discover. They couldn't detect the problem, but when he came to see you, yeah. you actually spotted it, and the doctor from the U.S. was even calling you to ask. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, give yeah. me the story again uh, before I we... I think for uh, confidentiality, I won't mention it Yes, here, sure, sure. But I think um, I'm, I'm aware of that friend. Okay, okay. Uh, we met in his house once. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the birthday party. Actually. That's right, that's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a person who have lived in the U.S. Uh, several years, and he has a good insurance, so he does his medicals every year there. So jokingly, I just asked him, why don't you try ours uh, this year mm. and see whether uh, we can do some, uh, compare some notes. And really, um, he gave in and then we did it. And the process was such uh, elaborate that we could detect a mass on his kidney with the ultrasound. On his kidney? Yes. And it was said that the doctor advised he would need a surgery to amputate some part of the kidney. And then he went to U.S. to seek an opinion of his uh, doctor there. And it was the same uh, diagnosis and the same treatment. And so the doctor from U.S. had to call me and ask, how did we detect the mass? Mm. Because when they do their medicals, mostly they, um, they will do the chemistry to determine whether the kidneys are functioning well or not. But they don't go, they never use the ultrasound mm. as part of their routine mm. for medicals. So do we do this in Ghana? I say, yeah, it's part of our um, protocol, the package, uh, which we call four for men. Uh, will do a comprehensive uh, program which is um, a detailed protocol of what the package entails. And with the ultrasound, we, the doctor detected the mass. Mm. So actually he went to US and he was operated and uh, he was lucky. So coincidentally, uh, the best is not always in the West. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best of Singana. Show some love, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it freaked me out when, when he told me that the uh, doctors actually yeah. called you yeah. to verify. Uh, and he was so happy. I mean, um, he, he was saved because mm -hmm. it would have uh, been disastrous. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes the social meetings are necessary. The informal meeting. Yes, yes. Because yes. this was an informal discussion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, had, and when I was introducing you, I said, yeah, we don't take care of our, uh, we care for our cars, yeah. you know. One small yeah. thing we hear, it's time to call in the mechanics. Yeah. We don't do the same for, 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 yeah. for our bodies as human beings. Oh, because when we wake up in the morning, we don't feel anything yeah. wrong with us. We feel good. But every day, there are changes that happen in mm. our body. And so that is why we need to raise that awareness and mm. conscientize people that the fact that you wake up in the morning and because sometimes you, 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 you are shocked when you are told that, oh, I was this, with this friend yesterday, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the following mm -hmm. day, he's gone. And the postmortem reveals that um, actually things were going on in the mm -hmm. body, which mm -hmm. he was unaware. So definitely, we should begin to uh, create some awareness, mm -hmm. and then consciously uh, try to do our medicals. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic, fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. Um, 
I want to, well, I want to get into COVID since UGMC is like a main, should I say COVID center? Or, or well, one of, for, one of the centers. <laughs> one of the centers. One of the centers. Yeah. And so that you can give us some, some more education on that and other questions. Right. But uh, we have to take a commercial break right now. When we come back, let's talk about how you got to UGMC. You were with the trust? Trust. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll talk about that. Thank but stick around, folks. Uh, we're taking a short break when we come back. More with Dr. Dario Jose. We'll be right back. ASM show. This creek is 055 039 5007.